Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Stephen, the uh, co-founder of Terrassa, and um, welcome to our live AMA. And today we're going to um, actually focus on a specific topic, which is our pre-staking uh, campaign. Um, so for those of you who have followed us very closely, we've launched our pre-staking as of last Friday, and in a few days that it's been launched, um, we've uh, all, we've uh, garnered 78 million, just a little bit under 78 million, uh, 78 million Terra stake. So thanks to all the community members who have uh, participated in the staking, and uh, we hope that more of you will join us as well. Okay, so um, first I'd like to you know, talk about exactly how staking works um, in the grand scheme of things, right? So we actually have three phases of staking going on. Um, the first phase is called pre-staking. Um, second phase is called mirror staking, and the third one is just magnet staking. Okay, um, we're currently in the first phase, <clears throat> which is pre-staking. Um, and the goal of the pre-staking phase is really to build up much of the technical infrastructure um, that's required for staking in general, as well as educate the uh, uh, the uh, community on the process of staking. Right, um, because uh, right now the uh, Terrasa token is on ERC is an ERC twenty. Um, pre-staking takes place on the Ethereum chain. Okay. Um, in the second phase, um, mirror staking, what we're actually, the goal is to actually connect um, what is on Ethereum's um, pre-stake uh, uh, pre tokens and mirror that information onto our test network. Um, this way we actually tie together staking with node running, right? And, and uh, actually um, node participating in consensus. So things like staking, delegation, um, fees, rewards, um, all of that stuff will all be uh, connected together as it should be, right? So this way we actually um, are able to test all of these technical as well as economic features on the test network without putting any assets at risk, right? Because the actual assets are actually still on the Ethereum network. Um, and the last phase, the third phase, the last phase is going to just be mainnet staking in which we basically move everything onto our main network, um, including a token conversion. Uh, so all the staking delegation, all that stuff will actually happen on the mainnet. Um, so this entire process has been designed to um, very carefully and progressively test most of the features that are required for the uh, not only the technical operation, but also the economic operation of the network without putting any asset at risk. Okay, so um, during pre-staking, um, community members can stake uh, via our community site, um, uh, uh, and uh, all newly staked tokens are locked for thirty days with a twenty percent uh, with a flat twenty percent annualized yield. Uh, if you don't unstake these tokens after thirty days, um, you just leave it in there. Uh, it will continue to accrue yield um, at the you know the flat twenty percent. Um, the uh, yield can be redeemed on our community site as well. And that feature, we're, um, we're probably going to release it this week or next. Um, so um, one thing to note is that the staking yield is higher than actually what was stated on the white paper. So if you're reading the white paper very carefully, you'll see that um, there's actually a linear fall off, um, you know, prior, uh, before and after the target staking rate, which is 67%. Um, so the flat 20% uh, is the maximum. Uh, so we have a um, elevated uh, staking reward during this phase right now um, because we wanted to make sure that we encourage participation and raise awareness. Okay. All right, so um, we actually have a lot of uh, tutorials, FAQs, and video walkthroughs uh, to ask, to tell people how to uh, how staking works and how to participate in staking. Um, I'll quickly uh, I'll quickly share my screen and um, show people exactly what we're talking about. Okay, so let's see. Um, share screen. Okay, so hopefully everyone can see the screen. Um, and uh, the first thing we're going to go to is, of course, our community site. So um, this is the community site, community.trasa.io. Um, the first thing you want to do is, of course, uh, sign up for an account. Um, make sure you pass KYC and uh, head over to the staking section, right, which is very simple. Um, you have to connect your Web3 wallet, which typically we recommend MetaMask. So in this case, <clears throat> my wallet has already been connected. Um, you see here connected and it'll automatically show you how much, you know, you, you're able to stake. So um, uh, in a prior test, I've already staked a small amount of Terra onto the, uh, on, uh, into the staking contract. So it shows that I have this much stake. 
um, after 30 days has elapsed, um, you can unstake. So this button will actually be uh, activated right after after 30 days. Um, if you want to learn more about staking, you can go to the FAQ here. Um, so just click on this go to FAQ button. Um, and then you're able to actually see staking, the staking FAQ. So here are the most frequently asked questions that we can think of and we've encountered um, from our community on exactly what staking is all about. Um, here's a step-by-step -step guide, um, which is a Medium article. Uh, you can here see all the screenshots. We have a step-by-step -step guide on exactly how you would stake. And then we also have a video. You know, you can link here, you can see the video. Um, we'll include all these links in the uh, videos uh, after we upload the video, we'll include all these links in the uh, description. So don't worry if you didn't catch it. Um, <clears throat> so the video also is a step-by-step -step guide on exactly how you would uh, how you would stay. So um, hopefully that'll give you a uh, a uh, good understanding of what staking is all about and exactly how to participate in pre-staking. Um, okay, so um, let's see if we can answer a few questions that we're seeing from the community. Um, so one person asked, um, let's see. Um, so if the rewards for staking is, uh, is in Terra, then um, is it going to be more than 10 billion tokens in the future? Um, so the, the, the short answer is yes. Um, so if you read our white paper in the economic section, uh, we've uh, always stated that staking rewards, which will come in the form of block rewards once we connect it up to the main network, uh, is going to be inflationary. So this is basically the same as you know something like Bitcoin or Ethereum. Um, the inflation, uh, the finalized economics hasn't been finalized prior to the, um, it will be finalized prior to the mainnet launch. But um, right now, the uh, I think the foundation is considering um, perhaps tapering off the uh, the overall inflation um, for the for staking rewards over time. Okay, uh, so uh, so please be on the lookout for that. Okay, um, will there be any liquidity pools? Um, so um, so I, I I let me try to understand what liquidity pools mean. So I'm I'm going to um, I think what this person is talking about since we're talking about this in the in the context of staking. Um, so um, you're, you're actually, later on, you're actually able to, um, you know, the staking isn't just, you know, there for analyze yield. Um, it's actually there to make sure you stake and then delegate that stake into a consensus node, right? So these nodes, um, are, are, you know, actually are able to participate in consensus and the staking is there to prevent civil attacks, uh, you know, uh, to secure the network. So, um, so, so in, in the, if you want to think about it that way, um, each node is sort of like a pool, um, and uh, and you know every everybody who has stake, no matter how much you can stake as as little as one tower if you want, you can stake as much as you want, um, and uh, they they can be delegated into a into a node or multiple nodes. So each node is sort of like a pool, and they'll be earning rewards and distributing these rewards back. Uh, to those who have uh, who have delegated stake into the uh, into these consensus nodes, um, so yeah, so that's definitely uh, that's definitely coming, and it's it's actually a required um, uh, a required mechanism, right, as part of our uh, layer one design. Okay, um, I do see some other questions, but I think um, I think these are um, probably not exactly staking uh, staking related, so we can you know most likely answer them offline. Okay, um, so uh, please uh, continue to follow us and uh, we're in the early days of staking. We'll be rolling out a lot more activities that are related to staking uh, and later on related to our test nets, uh, uh, incentivized test nets launch. Uh, so please be on the lookout and uh, yeah, thank you very much for those who have participated and I hope more of you will participate in our staking and to help secure our network and uh, pave the way for a successful mainnet launch. Thank you.